Peace and blessings, family. I'm Angela Day, and we are behind the scenes for my Ebony cover shoot, and this is The Fashion Issue. All right, ready. So, what is your fashion style, mm -hmm. and how has it changed over the course of your career? Mm, my fashion style, I would say that my fashion style is, I'm often influenced by very classic looks and classic silhouettes. I, I kind of have deemed myself a vintage girl. Uh, but I mean, vintage is a really broad scope. And ultimately what I am is, it's changed over the years because I'm kind of like a fashion gypsy. I really don't like to be nailed down. Uh, I really love experimenting. It's, it's expression and it's fun and it's freedom and it's an outlet for me. What I love to do is I love blending decades and I love blending eras. So I love deco with a mid-century modern or I love, you know, so there's, there's really, I kind of take it through the decades. So I might start in the 50s, pick something up from the 60s, and then skip over to like the 80s, you know, maybe touch something from the 90s and then land me whatever is current and whatever I love. So I just, I'm very whimsical and very childlike when it comes to my style. Who are some of the designers that you found either in your thrifting and vintage search and modern day designers that help you create these looks? Sergio Hudson, who actually we're wearing today. I'm such a huge fan of his work because I feel like he epitomizes what I love, where he takes classic silhouettes and he experiments with them. You know, he doesn't stay in a box. And so, you know, there's something that's just very flattering and beautiful on a woman's body. And then he just might make it kind of asymmetrical or make it a little more structured or less structured. And so I just, I love what he's doing. That is okay. Obviously, <laughs> once you put together a look, you've got makeup to play with. Mm -hmm. So what, uh, what role does makeup play in you? How you express yourself creatively? I love experiences. So whether it's music, whether it's movies, whether it's fashion, whether it's, so to me, everything, the clothes, the, the makeup, the hair, it serves the experience that I'm not only having, but that I'm giving to people who get to see. To me, I love experimenting with makeup. I love how you get to transform. It's really interesting because now having jumped into acting, I see that like I've kind of dabbled in it my whole life with the characters that I build with fashion, with makeup, and with hair. So, you know, sometimes I like something very vampy, sometimes I like something very subdued and very dewy, but it's all about putting the character for that day together. In the deliverance for the first time, you definitely see me with a coppery reddish type of hair, which I've always loved. I've just been like too chicken to like try it out on my natural hair. Um, but, you know, God bless wig technology because <laughs> you can try all kind of different things. I don't need to show up anything with anything other than what I have. So I think that when it comes to beauty and when it comes to fashion, that's what it is. You've been given your particular set of DNA and inspiration and experiences and things that you've seen that you like and your preferences, your opinions, your tastes. Only you have that particular concoction. So definitely dive into that and express it more because no one will be able to do it better than you because there is only one you as far as we know. There's never been another and will never be another. Um, so I think, being on the cover of Ebony now, I've, I've always wanted to be on the cover of Ebony since I was a kid. I wanted to do it during the Billie Holiday run. I wanted to do it on our first record. Um, but being on the cover now, you know, it just, it speaks to full, full circle moments. And I will say, because spiritually, that is what matters to me most. I'm always, I am in this moment, I'm reminded of a scripture that says God is able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all we can think or ask or imagine even. And it's so crazy because having, you know, gotten into acting, having done this album, having released a new album, you know, we're starting to perform again live. And then having done this movie, we have a new movie exhibiting Forgiveness coming out. It just feels like everything always happens at the same time. And it's always better than I could have planned it.